Hi ladies, so today we're going to be talking about negativity and before I get into it, I want to know where do you receive the most negativity from? Whether it's your family, your friends, your significant other, or social media, or your boss. Let me know where you tend to receive or um, get a lot of your negative energy from because there's always one major source all right and you have to learn how to manage that source all right so we can be cute and uh, cute and unbothered all right so make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below I want to read what you guys write so I can chat with you guys about your responses so yeah let's get into the tips Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to deal with negativity, all right? And this is for my developing feminine young ladies on my channel. You see I'm here in my little robe, got my little makeup going on in the crib and everything. So I tried to fit the energy of this video. So we're gonna be talking about my top ways to deal with negativity. So yeah, before I get into this video, make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. If you do wanna see more content like this, more femininity content, make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below. Also, follow me on all my social media platforms because duh, like, you know, I'll be on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter every now and then. But follow me on all of my social platforms so you can keep up with me and let me know how you're doing and we can chit chat and all that good stuff. So after you do all those things, we're gonna get into these different ways to deal with negativity. All right, so the type of negativity that I'm talking about is basically general. So people that have social media, all right? This is for you. People that message you and say negative things and try to put you down, put down your spirit, or even a family member, or even friends, someone at work, someone in school. This is going to be how to dodge negativity globally, all right? <laughs> or just everywhere in your life. And for me, since I have had um, taken my social media seriously and I'm now trying to become an influencer or I am an influencer. <laughs> it has been a challenge and primarily it is a challenge because of the negativity that I've received and that was an adjustment for me. That honestly was not something that I was expecting. I thought everyone would just love you and be kind and be nice but apparently it is not true at all and people can be very malicious and very hurtful and very hateful and you're gonna have to deal with it for the rest of your life unfortunately. So these things I'm telling you here are gonna help you navigate those situations. So if you are trying to be an influencer like me or you know you just have a negative nancy in your life these should save you from strife okay so the number one way to deal with negativity is by understanding how you feel and understanding that it is temporary so when i say this it's that when you usually see that negative comment or you hear that negative comment or you feel that negativity you're like oh like it immediately changes something inside you whether you want to say it or not but one thing that i've told myself and i constantly i still tell myself this i have to tell myself i'm only going to feel like this for a little bit something else is going to come up in my life and i'm going to forget about this so i try not to dwell as much on uh my emotions that i'm feeling in that moment i still recognize them and i still address them in my mind but i know deep down that it's not going to last as long as that person may want it to. So if someone says something negative to you, it is normal and you should understand that it is normal that you're having a reaction. You shouldn't feel bad or you shouldn't, you know, feel odd that you're having that reaction. If someone's being negative, you know, and, and you're not used to, you know, being unbothered, it's gonna, you're, you're gonna have a reaction. So just make sure that you understand what you feel and you understand that it is just a temporary feeling. Number two, in terms of how to deal with negativity in your life, is to not take it personally, all right? And 
I think uh, my dad actually told me this where some people just are so miserable with their lives or they're so insecure with themselves or they're just not happy to the point where they share their negativity onto you. They put their negativity onto you and it may seem like it's personal and sometimes it is. Sometimes it is very personal. These people just don't like you for whatever reason but you have to kind of look at it and say like, you know, even though they may be coming directly at me and throwing shots at me, I can't take it personally because there's something must be going on within themselves to make them react this way. So when I started to kind of look at people, for example, um, if someone were to talk about me on their platform or make content about me in a negative light, I almost just look at the fact like, why would they need to do that? Like, am I bringing them viewers? Um, is there something going on in their lives? Are they insecure about themselves? You kind of have to think about what that other person might be going through and why they would think about uh, spreading neg negativity your way. So if you think about that first before you just jump to, oh, they're trying to personally attack me, I'm personally offended, you know, I'm, I'm going to internalize it. It's not going to, uh, serve you um, instead it's going to do something called an ener energy transfer and you are going to be the one that is now negative you are going to be the one that is looked down upon and they'll look like the innocent person and you'll be out here looking crazy looking a fool so instead just understand that some people just have things going on in their lives that has nothing to do with you uh your boss can be mad from something that happened earlier and has nothing to do with you you know your your personal your your partner could be having a bad day and take something out on you and again it has nothing to do with what you did or what you said it's just something inside within them that is going on so number two in terms of dealing with negativity is to just understand that sometimes you just can't take it personal all right y'all are gonna hate me for this one but number three in terms of how to deal with negativity is to just protect your peace all right just work on protecting your peace and when i say this i'm talking about constantly smiling all right even if you don't want to because sometimes i smile and i'm really pissed off or i'm really sad and some reason it makes me happier inside just a little bit i don't know if that's scientific or whatever um and also just speaking positively and i don't want anyone to misconstrue this because i already know the the fingers are ready i'm not talking about toxic positivity where you don't see faults in things that go on in your life but instead i'm saying just to positively affirm yourself to say positive words to yourself because one thing that i learned is that if you talk negatively into your life or into just you you will feel um worse you will have probably more downs than ups so when i'm more positive when i go into my day optimistic and grateful and spreading my gratitude i feel that i'm a little bit more um just overall protected like my peace like you can't really shatter my happiness you know i might trip and fall and bust my leg and i will laugh it off and be like oh like now i have a story to tell or oh like now i can say you know i don't i don't know i just make something up but what i'm trying to say is that uh just make sure that you are protecting your peace and i know that just speaking positively into my life and smiling is two ways that i make sure i protect my peace but i have a whole video on how to protect your peace so if you guys want to watch that as well you can watch it after this video okay so number four is to take time before you respond if you want to respond and listen this is where this is where me and you mess up all right i am that person that wants to respond immediately i'm like oh let me clap back oh you're not gonna talk to me like that sometimes i do get like that and honestly the older i get and the direction i'm trying to go down i realize that that is not beneficial and that is a trait that i do not like to have so instead i like to think about a situation maybe uh simmer on it or talk to someone else about the situation before i react immediately and then i will say something because one thing i noticed and you probably noticed it too you if you respond immediately you're responding on your immediate emotion and that's not something you're supposed to do most people's immediate emotion if someone is negative to them is anger or sadness and you do not want to respond in either of those states so i would say just wait and give yourself some time to think about and soak in what they said to you or what they wrote to you or what they did to you and then figure out how to move from there and um 
I personally, me, would say to just try to be as graceful as possible, communicate your feelings and communicate how it hurts you. Um, but when in doubt, I'm not even gonna lie to you, girl, there's such thing as being nice nasty. You can choose whether or not you wanna do it. Sometimes to put people in check, we're gonna keep it real here. Sometimes you have to be a little nice nasty. Sometimes, because some people, think that they can just walk all over you. And I'm not, you know, your big sis is not gonna have people walking all over you. So you can move in grace, which I tell a lot of my friends to do, move in grace, move in grace, be graceful, be graceful. Or you can be a little nice nasty. So an example of that would be if someone were to say, oh, you came in looking like this, why do you look all done up? Um, like, who are you trying to impress? Like, you can respond and say, oh, I'm not trying to impress anyone, you know, I'm just, doing it for myself, you know, I try to look good regardless of who is in the room. What do you do? Like you can say like, do you, maybe you should try that. Like it helps, it helps with your confidence. It'll boost your confidence, you know, if your confidence is low. You can throw, you can, you can basically say she's insecure, you know, and not say she's insecure if you want, all right? But I would not make that your first resort. I would probably just go with taking the high road first. So um, with number four, just make sure that you're taking your time before you respond so you have time to figure out what direction you wanna take. Most people that do not wait end up just being mean, end up yelling, screaming, you know, or they end up acting out of just pure emotion and not actual thought. Last but not least is to just talk to yourself and ask yourself two questions, all right? Now, the first question is, how does this serve me? All right? The first question is, how does this serve me? And the second question is, what am I getting out of this? It's both the same question, but sometimes you need to hear it in two different ways, all right? How does this serve me and what am I getting out of this? How is this bringing me to my purpose? Questions like that, those two questions that I previously said, if you, if you ask yourself that when someone is testing you, trying you, and you're about to react, take a step back and really ask yourself, is it even worth it? Is it even worth it giving them a response? Because nine times out of 10, it is not worth it, all right? I have had conversations with people where they're yelling and screaming and not listening to anything that I'm saying. And to protect my peace, yes, I did just hang up the phone. I did just hang up the I I mean, it wasn't the best option, but it was the best option for my peace. Um, I probably had other options. I could have stayed on the phone and dealt with it, but I just felt like it would have drained me. Boop. And the reason I did that is because I said, is this really serving me? Am I able to express myself in this phone call? Am I able to communicate in a healthy manner with this person? And all the answers were no. So what I decided to do was wait a little while and for five minutes this person was just yelling and screaming and not letting me say anything and I just hung up the phone and I moved on because again you you, you can only do so much with people that are willing to communicate and and um, get something positive out of a conversation so if you ask yourself and you're about to respond to someone you know is this worth me responding to and you feel just a little bit that the answer is no 10 times out of 10, the, your answer is right. And you should not answer. You should not deal with them. You should just ignore it and move on. And especially in this day and age, everyone's gonna have an opinion about what you do, whether it's positive or negative. You've seen all these celebrities get bashed and get um, criticized positively and negatively and the things that it does to their spirit. But you will also notice there are some celebrities that get criticized all the time and don't say a word. And if you know who I'm talking about, it's Rihanna and it's Beyonce. They don't say anything to the press. They just come out, they give their music, and they go about their day. They are not concerned about what the haters have to say. They are not concerned about what the negativity um, is, is, is doing or what it's not doing. They don't even feel the negativity because they don't let it in. They don't entertain it. And uh, <laughs> Beyonce, I would say, is my role model for unbotheredness and um, protecting one's peace. I think that she has mastered that and understood the power of privacy in terms of um, protecting oneself from the negative uh, aspects of the world. So if you do want to look at someone, if you do want to study somebody that knows how to keep it quiet and keep it pushing, it's Beyonce. Um, 
so hopefully all those tips were really helpful for you ladies and that you guys took something i know you know a lot of my subscribers are very young and probably have social media and do little rants on instagram you know someone got you upset someone got you mad <sighs> day by day the more you listen to these tips, the less you will be doing those reactions, the less you will be embarrassing yourself and regretting that you responded. You need to just understand that this is gonna be something that's happening for the rest of your life. It's gonna happen for the rest of your life. So learning from these tips, these five tips that I gave you is going to change how you deal with negative uh, negative opinions and negative comments. Every now and then, you know, I say something a little snippy. You guys see my, uh, <laughs> my comment section or my little clapbacks or my shade but to make a whole post to write a whole document to go and do the utmost with people it's not in my spirit anymore and i'm trying to help you guys remove that from your spirit as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye